Hello, this is Marcus with Engel. Today we'd like to talk about different drive types that are found on injection molding machines. This one here is an all-electric machine. And all-electrics have been in our industry for decades now. But you've also heard terms like hybrid and servo-hydraulics, as well as basic hydraulics. What do those terms mean? How do they affect the configuration of the machine? In this particular machine, an all-electric, all the axes that are moved, whether it's the clamp or the injection, are done with electric driven systems. So we'd like to take a little bit of a more look into those systems right now and give you an idea what the differences are between those different types of configurations for a machine. So this is the 55 ton machine that we were talking about earlier. You can see the spindle drive system in here that is used with the electric servo motor it's a little tough to see this small machine from the angle that we have. So what we'd like to do is let's take a look at a machine where we can get a better look at the drive system, a little bit larger clamp force. So here we have a 175 ton machine. This is the servo motor that runs the ejector. You can clearly see it in this configuration. A little bit more difficult to see the spindle drive in the back, but I think it gives you a good idea of how an electric machine is typically configured. This is a five point toggle. The spindle drive drives the toggle as well as we have a spindle drive also running the ejector forward and back. That is the most common configuration that you will see. Although there are some Tiberless all electric machines which are also driven by a toggle just in a different configuration. Here we have an electric injection unit. We can see the motors that are used to drive not only the screw turn but the inject forward as well. The spindle drive systems that these motors are turning are contained within the casting here and are encapsulated with an oil bath to keep them lubricated. So here we are back at our 55 ton all electric machine and what we just did is give you a very basic overview of what an electric machine looks like, what the drive systems look like from the surface. We didn't take off the guards so it may be sometimes hard to look at a machine and say that's electric or that's hydraulic but I think if you follow some of the directions that we saw here today you look in there you see a spindle drive it's going to be an electric machine so you don't have to take off the guards to really figure out what drive systems it's using but like I said this was a very basic overview we're going to take a look at some hydraulic machines as well so that you can see the differences and you'll be able to recognize them right away So here we have a hydraulic injection unit. This is a 2460 by Euromaf size. So we can see right away the differences. Here we have a hydraulic cylinder with the hydraulic hoses connected to it from the hydraulic manifold, which has the directional valves which control the forward and back of the cylinders for injection. In between, we see a hydraulic motor, which is turning the screw for plasticizing. And it's clear to see the difference. There's hoses that are connected to it instead of electric lines. So it's obvious when you see an injection unit like this, it's hydraulic, it's not electric. So this is the heart of a servo hydraulic system. We have the servo motor and the pump. They're driving all the motions on this particular machine. This is a servo hydraulic machine. The servo motor is controlled by a drive system that controls the rotation of it, only giving us the amount of oil, the speed and pressure that we need when we need it. So it's optimized. It's a really efficient hydraulic system, the servo hydraulic. So here we have a basic hydraulic system. This is fully hydraulic. There's no servo motor. It's an asynchronous motor that's driving the pump. And we have our valve systems here mounted directly on the pump with our proportional valve or servo valve controlling all the movements of the machine. This is what's been used for many, many decades this type of hydraulic system. You may have seen fixed pumps. This is a variable volume pump, but it gives you the idea of what a basic hydraulic system looks like. Here we are back at our 55 ton all electric EMAC. And what we've tried to do today is give you a very basic overview of how to recognize the difference between an all electric, a servo hydraulic, and a hydraulic machine. In order to find out what best fits your production, we really need to dive into the details to understand that. We can do that with you. We can assist you in discovering what would be the best drive technology to fit your needs.
give us a call. We'd love to help you.